Uh, you have indignation, meteor swarm. This is fine. SD can be turned to summon destiny for Merity if you want to know where. Oh, right! You can get, like, summon destiny in this game! I forgot about that. Where, where do you even get that? Do you know what the... Yeah, tell me the location. I, I knew about that. I just forgot what location that was. It's been, like, six years since I played. I definitely have seen that before, though. Yeah, we can do that really quick. Again, we're gonna have to go back to Chambar Bistro anyway. Nice freeze lancer. Freeze lancer. All right. I actually do remember summon destiny now that I think about it. I remember that. I did that in my original playthrough, but again, my last playthrough was like five or six years ago. I honestly thought I forgot the location, but I remember SD being the thing for it. Oh wait, did I go up? I have to go down? I thought that was up, to be honest. Maybe it was down instead of up. Okay, yeah, no, never mind. We have to go down. Up is where we got the Mystic Sword and the uh, Dark Sphere. I messed up. My bad. Nice Meteor Swarm. Let's go. If for some reason I can't beat the Ultimate Cramel, by the way, I'm going to skip like the Ultimate Cramel. Like, I, I'm gonna try it. If I can't win for some reason, I will, like... I'm probably gonna try only, like, twice. Depending on how good I do. If for some reason I can't beat him, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, finish the game. Because I really have to finish the game for this stream. And I'll make a video where I beat the final Cramel. But I am gonna attempt the Cramel at least, like, once or twice on stream right now. But if I can't win, I'm just going to... I'll make it a video after Shizel. Because, like, I really can't afford the stream too long. But getting this playthrough done is ideal. Okay, so we go down here. Do more exploring. Hideout 156, 112. Okay, I figured it was one of the hideouts. I just didn't know which one. So, I appreciate that. Thank you. We'll do that while we're, uh, when we leave Shazel Castle. This is the uh, way the ultimate Kramo, I think. Yeah, we're going to the ultimate Kramo like right now. It's like right before all the, all the what's it called, all the uh, the mini bosses. I think Shazo's castle just has like a couple of bosses in it. Like they're like um, you'll see what I mean. They're like bosses. Like they're not mini bosses. They're actual bosses. But we have like I don't know four or five bosses other than the ultimate Kramo. This dungeon isn't like super long. It's not like Guardia Shaft hey, long. Okay? Guardia Shaft or the other thing. Guardia Shaft or Rena. It's not that long, but it's kind of like, you know. Oh, this is a fake. Fun, fun. Oh, nice spread. Oh, wait. We fight fakes by letting them kill themselves with poison. Right. I hate it. Ba, 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 bum. I should set a shortcut to Merity and tell her to use Nurse. Die. She won't use it on auto for Destiny? Isn't it like, um, don't you have to like use it every 20 minutes or something? I think it had some weird criteria to use. Because again, it's not linked to an actual Kramel. So I think the way it works is weird, but I would like to show it off at least once. Because it is, re it's a really cool summon. There's distortion. Is this going to kill me? Yeah. hate fakes in this game. It just amount to a battle of attrition. Indignation. How are you still alive? We have to wait so long for your poison to kill you. There we go. Don't take me lightly. 
But yeah, I know it's like a, um... A. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I'm here now. How are we doing on the pot pie? Yeah, pretty good. Two stars. Get battles either because we need to get this pop pie mastered. As much as I said, I'm gonna use holy bottles, but I can't do that until we get the stuff mastered. Hey, we did it! Did I make a red wrong turn somewhere? Okay, we got the elixir. Yeah, use a teleporter. Okay, camping screen. We're still so far so good. I don't think there's any... Yeah, okay, this is the camp. Okay, yeah, this is the dungeon. I remember this dungeon. You have to, like, go to these, like, six elemental rooms or something, and then you fight, like, a mini boss, a boss at all of them. I remember this. I just went to one. And go back. Which is the one that takes me to the final Kramel. I just want to fight the final Kramel as soon as I can. I guess I should, like... I like no low point. I thought there'd be a low point here. Head up, use a teleporter, camping screen, camp, head back the last screen. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Go back, then. Down to the castle lobby. Get up a save. I, I just want to find this Kramel. Okay, now we can use this door. Perfect, perfect. And left. the skills let her summon destiny go to skills during battle then merity go to skills during battle then merity go all the way down to you see destiny is another kramel yada yada oh is it just any vitality does any vitality need to be maxed to use destiny is that what it means probably that was close yeah, I mean, I, I think I understand what you mean. I mean, I know the mechanics. I've played the game before. But I think what that means, I'm pretty sure it's, um... I think it's just any Kramel needs to be max vitality, and then you can just use Destiny? And you're saying she won't use it on manual, so I have to make... I just have to make her use it, which isn't hard. I can do that. Turnia Melody. That's her ultimate weapon, I think. Yeah. I mean, if we, if we get to show off Destiny, great. If not, I can, like, you know, it's not a big deal. We're already not going to see so many of the Mystic Arts because of how many times you have to use, like, Beast and Rising Phoenix. It would be nice to show it off, but, like, it is a really cool summon. I hope we can make it happen. If it means, like, if, if it's going to be, like, oh, I have to spend, like, hours grinding or doing battles, I'm not going to do it because I really just, I have to finish this game. Yeah, we're coming up to the final Kramel. Actually, don't use a Holy Battle because we have to get Popeye Mastered. I keep forgetting. Oh, here it is. This is the gate before the final Kramel. This boss is like, again, non-post-game dungeon. This is the hardest boss in Tales of Eternia, I would say. Probably harder than the final boss. Although the final boss is two phases, so take that as you will. 
So we'll see how we do. Hopefully we can beat him. No problem. If not, I'll just come back and make a video on him. But I would like to beat him now because it's like convenient. We'll try this team. If I need to take Reed in, I will put him in. I will put Reed in if I have to. There he is. Ho ho ho, what do we have here, a group of youngsters? What did you say? Watch what you say, Reed. You're in presence of a Supreme Cramel. Supreme Cramel? I am Secundus, the one who presides over the flow of time. The greater Cramel of time. The fact that mere mortals have managed to make it this far is quite impressive. There's no immediate need to test your strength. Come now, raise your Cramel cage. We don't have to battle. This is a trick. I will fight you anytime you wish, but it does not need to be now. Oh, you can get Secundus without battling him? I, I must have forgotten that. If you wish to waste any more time, I may crush you where you stand. I, I want to fight. I want to battle. By all means, please enter the cage. I, I want to I fight, dude. Now I'm fighting Secundus. All right, I guess you don't need to battle him to get his cooperation, but I still would like to battle him. Ooh, I can't believe we got his cooperation without having to fight. Indeed, if we fought, there's no way we could have beaten him. Not against the Greater Time Cramel. Seems like each Greater Cramel has their own view of the world. Now, I'm fighting Secundus. If you wish to fight me some other time, my Secundus will challenge you. Secundus. Yes. Of course, we'll fight. We're more than strong enough to challenge you. Now, we're fighting Secundus. I respect your spirit. Are my powers incomparable to that of other greater Cramels? Are you ready to challenge me? Talk is cheap. Let's not waste any more time. Indeed. I actually should have saved, and then we wouldn't have to go through that dialogue if we lose, so, you know. Oh, here he is. Good old Secundus. Uh, here. Spectacle? 200k. He is weak to lightning. There's also a little uh, Easter egg. I think he needs to have like a fourth or is it? I don't know if it's like a fourth or half of his HP. You could use indignation to finish him off. Which is why I wanted to make sure we had indignation. But um, yeah, so here's Secundus. I'm going to actually put a lightning spell on. I'm going to put indignation as a shortcut so we can like have kill spam it. This boss is the hardest in all of Tales of Eternia. Super you see, my moves aren't even doing much combos. Or hits. This is the hardest boss in Eternia, though. I would wager. Other than the cameo dungeon... Or cameo dungeon. The post-game dungeon is final boss. You see, I'm doing, like, nothing to him. It must be my, uh... My weapon, I think? No, I have no attribute. That can't be a problem. Looks a bit like Dios. Interesting you say that. This is technically supposed to be a, a reference to Dios. This is even Dios' theme from Tales of Fantasia. Yes, yeah, see, Secundus Laser. That was Dios Laser, except Secundus Laser. Yeah, look at this. He's insanely hard. Yeah, like, it's... This is a ridiculous fight. I mean, at least if we don't win, we still have Secundus' cooperation. I'm, like, doing nothing to him. Oh, wow, Windblade Keel. That'll help. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to all divide, but then I won't do much damage because I'm doing one. I love it how I can't block that. I'm also pretty sure Secundus gives you Resurrection, too. So we have Resurrection, although we don't now because Secundus isn't even here. or He's not with us. We're fighting him. Yeah, see, elements do a lot to him, but everything else is not doing anything. I think the key to this fight is to, like, use the keel strat here. What is it? Uh, how do you do this again? I haven't done this in so long.
Oh, Merity is the one when there's not Keel. Interesting. This is how we're gonna win. Max, please cast. Max, I need you to get, uh, what's it called? A Merity up. We have elixirs if we need. This is how we're doing this. Oh, let's go. He got hit by that. Okay, Merity. Now we switch. Actually, no, I'm Keo. I gotta go on the other side. This is a strat I used to beat him last time, just like spamming fireballs, because like, I think there's like a glitch with Keo where you can do like the infinite cast, which is what I'm doing right now. If this is what it takes, I will abuse it. It kind of sucks that Pharah's like dead weight for this. I think chat would have been better with like Eternal Hammer, maybe. Here, Merity, use Nurse. Nice Aqua Spiral. Now, when he gets low enough, we are going to use Indignation to finish this. Alright, he's getting really low. Max is running out of TP here. I'm actually going to switch to Pharah here because I want to—I don't want everyone to get hit by the same stuff. Oh, nice. I forgot you have revive. <laughs> I always forget about that. Uh, now put Q further back. Fireball. Oh, well, I used an hourglass. That's fine. I'm probably not going to use an hourglass like on the final. It didn't even work on him. <laughs> I mean, he is like the Kramo of time, so I guess that makes sense. Max, please. I need you to cooperate. Actually, I need Pharah to like use resurrection. I'm running out of a uh, or life, whatever it's called. I'm running out of uh, items. All right, that bought her some time. There's burning force. I would rather have a different spell. Yeah, come over here. Come over here. Good nurse. So, how much do you have? Because at some point, okay, not even half. I think it's like less than half. He needs to be at to use indignation. Max, I think using Aqua Spiral will be key here. What is Keel doing? Oh, this is about the only Keel gameplay you guys are gonna get, where I'm just using this little glitch. I should actually have Farah use life because I'm running out of life bottles here. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Aqua spider. Don't hit, don't hit. Okay, he's not hitting. Perfect. Era, use life. Oh, so close to getting the Aqua Spiral off. Okay, good. Now we're back to spamming with Keel. Merity, I'm gonna need you to use Nurse. So much micromanaging. <laughs> this is this is what it takes. Back to Fireball spam. No, you don't. He got to me. He got to me. <laughs> we're gonna need to go back and get life bottles after this. We are really close to the entrance, so I guess that's a good thing. Ray. Alright, I couldn't move there. That was fun. I'm gonna wanna put life here temporarily. Cure, really? I, that was just in time. <laughs> My word. I wonder how much he has. Uh, Max, when you get a chance, spectacle. 
Okay, he's getting low. He's getting low. I need to, like, use this fireball strat to get him super low. It's the only thing that's, like, hitting him optimally. Behold! So many fireballs. Endless fireballs. I couldn't remember the word endless for a second there. Oh, nice elemental. Whoa! Oh, it pushes him towards me, though. I shouldn't have cast that. I can't move. Yes, a free. Get a free here. Okay, I guess Max isn't using. He started casting, so he didn't get his thing off. He is low. I think that's enough to use the Indignation Finisher. I don't know if it has to be a fourth of his HP. I don't remember. By the way, if I lose this, we're not doing this again. This, this is the attempt. This is the attempt. I win or lose, this is it. Resist? Resist? <laughs> Let's see if indignation works here. If it doesn't, then we need to get him to like a fourth. All right, everyone, everyone can't be together. Okay. That seems fair. Please, Elixir. Thank you. Oh, dang it. Heal is not getting that off. Over here, over here. Come to me. There we go. Heaven's light shine. Gates of hell open your passage. Strike, lightning of the heavens. Indignation. There's your Dios reference. Proof that this is Dios. The same way Dios was sealed, you finish him with indignation. So that is the caveat to the fight. That's like the key. Like, oh, if you can get him to like under half, you just use indignation. It's like blue earth and graces. It finishes him off. So yeah, there you go. We beat Secundus, the ultimate Kramel of the game. Where does all your strength come from? I love, I love that line. And I love that cut in image that Keel gets. Merity obviously gets a cut in too, but it happened to be Keel this time. But I love that finisher. It's so good. If you played uh, Vesperia with Rita, you could do the same thing because you fight Dios. You fight Dios in Vesperia's Coliseum. You could do that with Rita. And also, that's just how he was sealed back in Fantasia. It's a really nice reference. Mortals are truly interesting. Now take this with you. The Dare Assemble? Yeah, Dare Assemblem. There it is. I forgot what the Dare Assemblem does, to be honest. We're grateful, Secundus. GG's, GG's. I'm glad we won that fight. That was ridiculous. I had to make use of the keel glitch there. But if you're wondering what the keel glitch is, that, that's what it was. Just spamming fireballs. Basically, you set fireball to a shortcut. You jump. You do a jump, and then you press some... Um, you rapidly press the shortcut button, and you can infinitely cast any spell. You can infinitely cast any spell with keel. It doesn't work with Merity. I don't know why it only works with keel. But um, you put a spell to a shortcut. You jump. You cast that spell after landing with the shortcut, and you can infinitely cast. You could do it with any spell. It's obviously useful with, like, spells like Windblade, Fireball, because of the way the spell queue system works, but that is what the glitch is for anyone wondering. That's what it was. I was thinking of a perfect time to show that off, and that was the perfect time to show it off for that fight, because I always use it for that fight. Uh, let's put Reed in. Just use this team for the rest of the game. There we go, though. Secundus is... He was on our side. We didn't have to fight him, but I'm glad we fought him. Resurrection, Distortion, Drain, Guard. So now we can finally use Resurrection, which is awesome. Dude, honestly, we beat Secundus. The only thing that's going to be, like, maybe not super easy is the final boss. But even then, I think Secundus is, like, harder than the final boss, to be honest. The final boss isn't going to be easy, but, I, like, Secundus was the real challenge I was worried about. And we got him, and with the indignation finish also, which is what I wanted. 
So, let's see. Now... I think I definitely should have used, like, read or chat, though. Farah was a bad pick, but Farah used life. It kind of helped. All right, so back up here. I don't know where we have to go now to, um... Oh, probably those elemental pillars, obviously. 